Governor Glenn Youngkin says he's speeding up a plan to address the statewide teacher shortage. He says pay raises simply came too late. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco is live in the studio with what's being done. Jackie, how big is this problem? Well, Deanna, this year's numbers are not yet final, but the Virginia Education Association found that as of August 11th, there were more than 10,000 job postings at schools across the state. And those vacancy rates tended to be much higher in divisions with the largest share of black and low income students. As a long standing teacher shortage appears to worsen in Virginia, Governor Glenn Youngkin says he's fast tracking one fix. I was just meeting with a group of retired teachers who in fact want to come back and teach now and are having trouble getting, getting their license renewed and also some challenges with the retirement system's treatment of that. And so we've got a SWAT team working on it right now and so I'm really hopeful that we can see immediate outcomes. With no set timeline for that step, a separate law allowing teachers licensed outside of the United States to come into Virginia's classrooms if they're approved for a provisional license. It's still not clear if any have been granted by the state since that change took effect July 1, says Senator Barbara I do know that some school systems had actually been doing this prior to my legislation. That's how great the need is. But the Virginia Education Association says these are band aid fixes to a problem that stems from underfunding schools. The state budget approved earlier this summer includes a 10% pay raise for teachers over two years if localities pay their share. The raises that were passed in this budget are hugely important. I was frustrated that it, that it was sent to my desk. As late as it was in June. But despite promises from both parties, advocates say it still falls short of the national average. Favola says she wants Virginia in the top five states for teacher pay. We're not there yet, and we will have to put a lot more state funding on the table. And looking ahead, Senator Favola says state lawmakers may look at forgiving student loan debt for future teachers and allowing college students to get into the classroom during that last year of their degree. Live in the studio, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News.